Hey guys, just real quick. I This goes along with last week, um, talking about glorying or rejoicing in our tribulations. And and this I read this this morning and it just went right along with that. I guess I needed the a, a little bit more of a reminder. But in James 1, 2, and 3, it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, knowing that the trying of your faith produces patience. Count it all joy. It doesn't feel joyful sometimes when we go through uh, uh, temptations, which I looked up the word temptation in this particular verse, and it says adversity or trial of a man's fidelity, integrity, virtue, or constancy. Um, we go through things sometimes and it produces patience. It, it tries us to see, are we going to remain faithful? Are we going to remain acting virtuously, acting correctly according to God's word? Are we going to use integrity um, when we go through these things? And then I also read in Colossians 3.15, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Ooh, that's kind of that kind of gets me. Sometimes I don't let the peace of God rule in my heart. But it's like a commandment here. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. To the which also you are called in one body and be thankful. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to be thankful for the trials, the temptations that we go through, the the circumstances we get into. Um but it's a command in the word of God to be thankful, to let the peace of God rule in our hearts, and to count it all joy. So this week I'm working on these things again. I um, admit that I lack in these areas and I need God to help me. Uh, I, it doesn't mean being thankful for the circumstance. I'm not thankful that bad things come. I'm not thankful of the um, for the actual circumstance. But I can learn to be thankful that God is in control, that he gives me strength when I'm weak, that he gives me joy amidst the chaos, that he gives me peace when I'm anxious about things. So learn to be thankful. Let the peace of God rule in your heart and count it all joy. And the only way to do that is in God's strength. So spend some time with him today. Spend some time with him every day and work on these while well, I'm working on them too. Have a good week.